Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Julie. I'm a professional makeup artist, a hairstylist. I'm 50 years old and I am here to talk all things beauty. So today I have a new product for me. It is called Saint and I've never tried this before. If you can imagine being so many years in this industry, I've tried so many. I am excited to try this. I was a little reluctant at first, but I have befriended a few people on TikTok and I figure it must be good if they're using it. These women have all been professional makeup artists for years as well, and they swear by it. So I'm gonna give it a shot and give you my honest opinion. I have a feeling I'm gonna really like it just because I trust them, and I love cream products. I don't know what could possibly go wrong. I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a try. You know, I got so excited that I put everything in its little case without looking at what was given to me. So I'm gonna go through it with you, but it's really nice that everything is all in one little kit. So especially if you travel or if you have a small space or you just wanna keep everything basic, then this is perfect. So let me see what I've got here. I've got candle lit is one. This one is amber. That one is called olive, perfect contour shade. And this one's called Bella. Then on the other side, I've got blushes, highlight, and what are these two little things? Let's see. These look like the concealers. I was looking for a name, but this one's number one. And then this one is number three, which I don't know if you can see is more of a salmon color. It's kind of hard when my lights are reflecting. I can hardly see without my glasses. So I'm hoping that this says rose gold. I believe that this is, my finger's already been in it. I believe that this is a shimmer shade. And then I've got two blushes, really, really pretty looking. One is called Venice, and this one's called Hollywood. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started and play with this. I'm gonna try amber first, and I'm going to put that right there. Then I'm gonna use olive and put it right there. Usually I don't go that far with my contour. And I'm gonna use candlelit right there. And let's blend this out. Well, that's pretty, <laughs> I have to say. So let's do a little bit of that. That one's amber. And I'm gonna take olive right there. That looks good, eh? Let me just put a little bit more right here. I'm actually gonna try the deeper one. Let me see what Bella does. So amber again, I'm gonna put it on my high point. Maybe right there too, let's just go for it this time. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of candlelit right there and let's go back to olive. So I'm gonna blend out the dark part first, making sure not to bring it below this line Wow, my skin does look really good. I do think I like the olive better. I feel like it gives a more natural shadow. This is candle lit. And I think I'm gonna put it right here and right here. I've never been one to contour on my nose, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and do it with the olive. So I'm gonna take a detailed brush. This one is A504 from the Angie BK Beauty. Now, if you look directly at my nose, it is slightly crooked. So I got this side that's pointing that way. So if I'm gonna contour on my nose, I'm gonna actually pull some darkness in on this side to make it more even. So I know a lot of people show you in those videos that they just do this with their line, but if I did that, it would look a little odd. I have to really be careful with the shape of my nose. And a lot of people have that. We're not all symmetrical. Be sure to pay attention to the actual shape of your nose before you start contouring. You might enhance something that you don't want to enhance. I'm going to take a little bit of the olive contour and go right underneath my lip. I don't normally do this either, but I'm just having fun. 
Since I already know I like that olive color, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my forehead as well. So right here. It is a perfect shade for me, I have to tell you. Candlelight is going here, and then nutmeg is gonna go right here. I'm not using very much product at all, which is really nice. Like you can't see that I have it on my skin at all. So I'm gonna use number one concealer right in here and right there, just to brighten up underneath my eyes. Well, not really underneath, just more in the corners where it gets really dark in that hollow area and right here to give a lift. I was painting yesterday, so I have blue paint on my nails, sorry. Under the eyes, I love using my finger because I just feel like the warmth of my hands really presses the makeup into the skin. Okay, so let's go on to the blush. Um, let me see, which one should I try? I'm gonna swatch this color here and this color here. I'm gonna go with Venice. I feel more comfortable with that one. And that is this color right here. When I swatch the two, this one looks much cooler and I feel a little bit more comfortable with Venice. Although I think it both would be really pretty. I'm gonna just tap it on. And just like that, that might even be too much. Who knows? Let's blend that out. Oh, it's pretty. I feel like my skin looks so glowy and you cannot tell, like I have my 10 times mirror in front of me. Like you can still see my skin. I don't want it to be flat and all covered up. I don't like that look, especially at my age. I just don't think it looks good. And honestly, I like the look of skin, so I don't want it to be perfect. I'm gonna take a little bit of olive and just place it right underneath my chin. I feel safe enough that it's not gonna look dirty under there. I am gonna set this a little bit with powder. My new favorite is Laura Mercier Blur Powder. It's talc free. It feels so nice and light and you can't detect it on my dry skin. So I'm really, really loving it. And I'm just going to hit the little areas right in here where I don't want it too shiny. And just a touch under here. I forgot to use the highlighter, but honestly, I feel like I don't need it too much. I'm gonna use it anyway. I'm just gonna tap that on right there. Do you think I can use this as my lip? Pretty, so this is Venice on my lips as well. I'm gonna to touch it up with tea and cookies from NYX. A little bit more blush. MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I think it's safe to put my earrings back on. I'm gonna use the Dior Backstage in Cool Neutrals and do a nice soft romantic eye look. That's how I would describe this makeup, it is really soft. I tend to flick it up right here just to give that little bit of a lift. I'm gonna use this one right here. Add a hint of shimmer. I'm gonna tap into these two right here and put it on the outer corner. Dior Backstage products are some of my absolute favorites. Their foundation's beautiful, their eyeshadows are beautiful. I have to try more. I would love to try their highlight and bronzer palette. I'm gonna take a Raffer 03 and I'm gonna dip into this color right here and just ever so slightly pull it on the corners to give a little bit of that shadow. And again, I'm going to lift up. Let me see if I powder just a little bit more what it feels like. 
I'm gonna take my BK Beauty 102, my blur powder from Laura Mercier, and I'm just going to, I sat down to have my coffee and edit, and I realized that the camera cut me off right when I was applying the powder, sorry about that. So, it's about an hour after the fact, and I wanted to show you my skin. I think it feels really nice. Of course, I love the Laura Mercier blur powder. It sits so nicely on the skin, and I don't feel dry at all. But this video is about the Saint makeup, and I feel like my skin looks really, really pretty. I sometimes edit, and I realize, whoa, whoa, that's a little too close. But anyway, that's what I'm here for. Also, I'd really love to know how you feel about purchasing your makeup from a multi-level marketing company. What really matters to me is being able to trust whoever is selling me a product that they have my best interest at heart and it's not about them making a sale. So for me, it doesn't matter if it's coming from Sephora, if it's coming from MAC, or if it's coming from a Saint makeup rep. And if I really enjoy a product, I love the idea of supporting that person who's trying to have their side hustle, or even maybe it's not a side hustle, maybe it's their full-time thing. Once I turn the camera off here, I am going to highlight this hair of mine. I'm gonna have that video up next week, so I hope to see you then. I hope you like this video. Video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button before you leave, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. I hope you have a great day and I will see you later. Bye!